This video is going to go through the highest common factor of two numbers and the lowest common multiple of two numbers using Venn diagrams. So I want to have a look at 390 and 3003. I want to find the highest common factor. Now I've deliberately chosen two quite difficult numbers to find the highest common factor for. And I'm going to start off by looking for the prime factors of 390. Now I know that 390 can be divided by 3. 3 is a prime number. So I divide that by 3. And I can see now that I can also divide that by 13. And that will leave me with 10. And 10 can be divided by 5. And it leaves 2, which is also a prime number. So all those are prime numbers. 3, 13, 2 and 5. All prime numbers. Now I'm also going to go on and do 3003. A little bit harder, but I can see straight away because these two numbers add up to give me 6 that I can divide this by 3. Uh, so 3 is one of the factors. I also know that I can divide, because I've done this one before, I can divide this one by 11, but you could have a play around with it and that gives me 91. And 91. I can divide by 7. Oh, sorry, I've made a mistake there. It's 11 there, isn't it? And that's 7 and 13. So let's just change that to 11. So I've actually got my prime factors, all my prime factors of 3033 there as well. Let's just double check that. 3 times 11 times 7 times 13 gives me 3033. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look and in the middle of the Venn diagram I'm going to put any number that's common to both of these. So I can see that 3 is common to both of those. So let's stick 3 in the middle. And also 13 is common to both of those. So they're in the middle so they belong to both sets. Now this one we'll put down just say the 390. So I've got a 2 and a 5. So 390 is made up of all these numbers. Two. 5, 13 and 3, and 3033 is made up of 3, 13 and I've got 7 and 11, and they're all prime. Now the highest common factor are just the numbers in the middle. So the HCF is 3 times 13. And that's how you find the highest common factor using a Venn diagram. Very straightforward. I'm also now going to look at the lowest common multiple, and it's the same thing. I need these numbers into a Venn diagram. So if I go over to this page, I'm just going to put these numbers into a Venn diagram. 3, 13, and 7, and 11. So they're the same numbers, the same Venn diagram. But the lowest common multiple is just to take each number in there and times them all together. So the lowest common multiple is 2 times 5 times 3 times 13 times 7 times 11 and well we can do all that on a calculator 2 2 fives are 10 times 3 is 30 then we can times it by 13 then we can times it by 7 then we can times it by 11 so it's all the numbers in there times together and it gives me 30030 zero, 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 zero. so quite a tough task initially to find the lowest common multiple and the highest common factor, but very easy with a Venn diagram.